Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So, I just got out of bed y'all and I absolutely cannot believe it. And I probably would have slept a little longer if I didn't hear my husband like moving around. Y'all, I must have been so tired. Like it's almost 10 o'clock and I rarely ever sleep this late. But I guess my body was like, you know what? You need to rest y'all. So I'm up now. I'm going to go and freshen up because I do want to run to um, the Dollar Tree. Y'all want to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some more of the mirrored frames. Let me show y'all. So don't worry, I'm gonna do a living room tour, y'all. Just not right now because I do need to get a chair for this area. And I think once I get that chair, I'll do the um, the living room tour. All right, y'all, I just turned a little light on so we can see what we're talking about. But this shelf right here now, in my last um, video I did, I think it was the last one, I told you guys that I picked this shelf up from my job. They actually auctioned it off. It was only $10 and it was initially white. If I can find a picture, I'll kind of stick a picture in, but hubby spray painted it black and it's just beautiful. So my plans for this shelf, cause I'm not done with it yet. I actually want to mirror the top of it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to Lowe's, probably not today, but eventually I'm gonna go to Lowe's and um, get them to cut me a piece of mirror to go on top of this shelf, cause that's what I really wanna do with it. I wanna kinda glam it up a little bit so it won't look so like outdated. So yeah, that's what I kinda wanna do. And then here for the bottom, what I'm gonna do is get some of these picture frames from Dollar Tree and just line them going straight across. Like I have this one and then line some on the bottom. It um, looks like I'm going to need at least four mirror frames to go across and then four on the bottom. But I'm going to buy like two extras just in case. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stack it like this going all the way across. And then I put my candles back there. So I think that's going to look really, really nice. And then I have to get one more frame mirror to go here. Because I'm also using it as a tray as you can see for my lamp. So yeah, y'all, I just really want to glam this piece up, but I think it looks really nice. Let me step back. But y'all, I really love the placement of this shelf. I really love it right here by the door with this mirror, okay, above it and the lamps and everything like that. So I really like the way it's looking. I just want to kind of glam it up a bit. And yeah, y'all, let me show y'all the latest thing that I picked up from Ross. Now again, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I showed y'all this, um, clock and it's gorgeous y'all it fits this space so 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 well yeah y'all so i'm pretty much trying to fill this area like this bench stand i also picked this up from my job it was auctioned off but i am going to move that and i want like a bucket chair to go right here and maybe like a little table so yeah y'all i'm still um trying to fill this area in so once i order my chair which probably will be sometime this week from walmart I'll be ready to do like um a living room tour for you guys. I don't ever okay. think I came back to show you guys that hubby did spray paint this little flower that I picked up from the Goodwill. Now I did show y'all this in the vlog that I just uploaded this morning as a matter of fact. However, there's going to be a vlog right before this one. So yeah, I will link that vlog so y'all can go see what this actually looked like. Like the basket was like a brown wicker. And he spray painted it black. So I think it looks really nice. And then y'all for the leaves. As you can see it is faded. So I'm going to go get some green spray paint. Probably not today. Maybe next week sometime. And I'm going to spray paint the leaves. Okay so it can be a really nice rich green. And I think it's going to look really nice with that black. So yeah I just have that in the so corner yeah, for the time. I'm definitely going to come back and do a full reveal on this living room. And then I'm going to do a review on my sofa set from Ashley. Because I really love it a lot so much y'all so let me sit down for a minute because i'm still so tired this um plaque i got from tj maxx and it is just so 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 beautiful i love it y'all as you can see it says grateful blessed and thankful it is absolutely beautiful and there's a story behind this plaque on the wall it's so gorgeous so y'all that plaque on the wall let me tell y'all a little story time so y'all the day that i found that plaque i decided to go to tj maxx because I was actually looking for some, what was I looking for? Lampshades. I was looking for lampshades and I had went to like several Walmarts and I couldn't find lampshades. So I was like, well, let me run into TJ Maxx. Maybe they may have something that um, I can find in here. So I went into TJ Maxx and they didn't have the lampshades, but you know, TJ Maxx, they have a little bit of everything in there, y'all. So I just started looking around in the store and 
um, I saw that plaque, right? And I just love the words like grateful, blessed, and thankful. Like that's just the way I'm feeling. I'm feeling so grateful, so blessed, and so thankful for everything that God has done for me and my husband. So I was like, I need this picture. So I flipped it over and the picture was only like $19.99, it was like 20 bucks. And the manager walked up and he goes, do you really want that picture? I was like, yes, I really want to take that picture home. And he was like, okay, stay right here. So he walks to the back, comes back, and he just mocked the picture down for $10, randomly. I was like, okay. I was like, thank you very, very much. So he mocks the picture down to $10. So I have the picture in my hand and I'm still walking through TJ Maxx trying to find like um something else to buy. So y'all, I get to the end of the aisle and there's a clearance rack. So I bend down to kind of see what they had at the bottom of the clearance rack. And I lift up like four trays. I don't know what made me lift all, like all the trays up, but I lift up the trays y'all. And I lied to you not, there was a $10 bill like folded up really, really neatly stacked in between the trays. I was like, seriously? Wow. So y'all, that $10 actually paid for that picture. That is so, so, so crazy. And it just looked like somebody folded it up really, really neatly and just placed it right there. It's not like it was on the ground and someone had dropped it. Because if that was the case, I would have definitely asked around, like, did someone drop money? But the $10 bill was folded up and it was placed underneath four trays. So, I don't know. I kind of felt like that was meant for me. And, you know, God was like, you know, there you go. Here's your picture. It was mocked down for you. Here's this $10 that was meant for you, that was left here for you, and go pay for your picture. I don't know, y'all. Like, things like that just really, it moves me. Like, I'm like, oh my God, that is so crazy. Like, how does a supervisor mock the plaque down to $10 and then you randomly reach down under four trays and find $10? That's crazy. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go up here and slip on some clothes and run to Dollar General. And I'm trying to see if I wanna do anything else while I'm out. I really don't feel like doing much. I just wanna come back and clean up because I normally clean up on Sundays, dust and do all of that good stuff. So y'all, yeah, I'm not really trying to go to too many places because I'm tired, okay? I just kinda wanna run to Dollar Tree Run to the grocery store real quick. All right, y'all. So I'm about to run to the store, but I have to show y'all this. So hubby is redoing our sidewalk. And oh my God, it looks so beautiful. It looks so nice. So it's going to be like in an L shape. From the steps. And I'll show y'all what it looks like once he's all done. So y'all, he did the side of the house. Because right here is... um. A side entrance to the house and he already did this side right here he did an amazing job y'all he's gonna get some um, pebbles to go like on the edge and y'all I think once the weather breaks we are going to hire um, a landscaper to come out and put us some flowers up and down here but yeah he did this side as well and he did such an amazing job love it y'all I'm gonna head over to Dollar General I keep saying Dollar General. Dollar Tree. I might go to Dollar Yo, General too. OMG, I'm having the hardest time finding these freaking mirrors. Lord, y'all, this is the second Dollar Tree I've been to. Shoot, I ain't even vlog because I was so I was getting frustrated. But this is the second Dollar Tree um, that I came to, y'all. And I've only been able to find three mirrors so far. So I'm gonna go to one more Dollar Tree and see if I can find these murals. And hey, y'all, if I can't find these murals at this last Dollar Tree, then I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree by my job because I know they have them. They were stocked up like nicely. So crap. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree, come on. You're killing me. You're killing me, killing me, killing me, y'all. So here's the three murals right here that I found. Oh, so frustrated. Y'all, I'm so freaking frustrated. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, we'll head over to this last Dollar Tree. And I'm going home after this. Y'all, I am so ecstatic. I'm so freaking happy. I got my mirrors. Y'all, look like they had some, but well, they have a lot. 
I left like two in there. I don't know why, like when I go in stores, I feel so bad about taking all of the products. So I left two and I brought one, two, three, four, five, six. I brought seven and then y'all know I got the other three from the other um, Dollar Tree. So now I'm gonna go home. So yeah, y'all, let's go back to the house and stack these mirrors on the stand. It's gonna look so pretty. All right, y'all, so I have my mirrors. Where's my little paper towel? All right, y'all, so I have my mirrors and I'm just going to take the plastic off of them and clean them up and then I'm gonna stack them on the shelf. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. <laughs> go um to dollar general because i was getting so frustrated about finding these mirrors y'all know i wanted to go to dollar general i don't even know if i mentioned that in the vlog but i wanted to go to dollar general to get um some setting spray but i got so frustrated that i was like you know what i'm not gonna even do it but i was so frustrated y'all i went to three dollar general looking for these freaking mirrors you know what, I'm glad I didn't go because I was thinking, I remember talking to this girl that I work with, um, she had an event to go to and she wanted to get her makeup done. And she was telling me that the makeup artist actually used Witch Hazel to set her makeup. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, she used a combination of Witch Hazel and Glycerin um, to set her makeup. And she said that her makeup lasted all night long. And so I was like, wait a second, because I was thinking about it while I was out. I don't have any glycerin, but I definitely have witch hazel. So I was like, you know what? I don't feel like going by Dollar General. So I'm definitely going to um, use witch hazel tomorrow and see how I like it. And then I'm going to place me an order for some glycerin um, from Amazon and just try to make my own setting spray. We shall see y'all because I did YouTube it and videos actually came up using Witch Hazel as a setting spray. So I was like, well, okay, I, I can do that. Y'all be sure to follow me on Insta because of course I'm Instagramming while I'm doing this video. So y'all, I'm just going to spray the mirrors down with this spray. And y'all, these are the two that I already had and I need to spray these down as well. Y'all, I was actually watching a YouTube video. I'll link it down below if I can find it. I think I saved it to my favorites. But this lady that I was looking at, she actually took these mirrors and she glued them to like a board, a poster board. And y'all, talk about beautiful, beautiful. I think I just might do that. I'll go back and get more mirrors and I might do that. Or I might do that with these mirrors once I get um, tired of seeing them on the stand. But when I tell y'all that people are so creative with the Dollar Tree DYs, it is just amazing because Y'all, I'm not creative at all, so my mind just don't think like that. I would have never thought to like do that with those mirrors, because my mind just don't think like that, y'all, at all. But these mirrors are gonna look so nice stacked on that shelf. I know it's gonna look nice. So y'all, I am finally caught up with my videos. All of the clips that I had um, recorded in 2019, I've edited, and those videos are up, those vlogs. And I'm so happy um, about that. So all of the videos that you guys will be seeing moving forward, with the exception of one video, but that video is like a um, like a pamper day, 
like my last pamper day in my old beauty room at the old house. I'm gonna post that as a throwback Thursday, y'all. So yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I know they've been kind of long, but personally, I love long vlogs. I don't know about y'all, but I love long vlogs. I watch them just like I'm watching TV. So let me know, like, if my vlogs are too long, if I should cut them down a little bit. Y'all let me know. Because of course I make videos for you guys. I make them for myself as well, but I really make them for you guys, so yeah. All right, y'all, so there is my mirrors. They're all nice and clean. And so now I'm gonna move you guys over here so we can start stacking the mirrors on the shelf. But they look so, so, so pretty. Like, y'all, I can't believe these mirrors are only a dollar because they just look so expensive. So yeah, y'all just kind of wanted to glam up this stand just a little bit, and I think this did it. I will again go to Lowe's and see if they can cut some glass for me for the top, but for the time being, I just have these mirrors here, and I'm using them as trays for my lamp. But yeah, I really like the way this looks. It looks really nice. So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. So y'all, I do have three mirrors left, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those mirrors as of yet. But let's see, let's see, I'll figure something out. All right y'all, so for the time being, I probably won't keep it like this. I put the other three mirrors on this mantle, just to fill it in a little bit. Eventually we will have a TV hung here. So yeah, that's just for the time being. So yeah, eventually I will go get more mirrors and do me like a little DIY. Yeah, so that's what I did with the other mirrors. For the time being, let me know what y'all think. Like, I don't want the mantle to look cluttered but I did kind of want to fill it out a little bit because as you can see this mantle is really long so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think I think it'll do for the time being all right y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here go upstairs take me a shower get ready for the week and yeah that's pretty much it so I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all later Bye.